Well, there may be more to one breed of dog than meets the eye. A pit bull rescue group says the dog gets a bad rap. One Maple Grove woman explains why she wants to change a pit bull's reputation from fighting dog to family dog. Yes. Good girl. Good Give a dog girl. a treat. Shake one more time. Yes. Good girl. And most will probably come back for more. It'll teach her to really pay attention to her owner and to be prepared for life outside of life outside of the house. This pit bull named Robin is the 36th foster dog that Amy Hotchkiss has kept in her Maple Grove home. It's a very loving and warm feeling to know that that dog that you've put all this energy, time and love into is going into a home where they're going to love them even more. Amy has a heart for Rottweilers and pit bulls, two breeds that have a reputation for being vicious fighting dogs. So I think a lot of people who have those ideas have never really been around a dog that, you know, once they do, they'll fall in love with their goofy little, goofy little faces. I don't think that pit bulls have any more reason to have a bad reputation than any other dog. Um, certainly, like any dogs, pit bulls can bite, um, but dogs that bite are often set up to do so by people who are missing signs that are common to dog bites in all different breeds of dogs. The Twin Cities organization, Arata Love Plus, fights for the underdog. Right now, pit bulls are way overrepresented in shelters, and because of their overrepresentation in shelters, they're being euthanized at higher rates than other dogs. The organization hopes overcoming a bad reputation will help get the dogs in good homes. We want to make sure that this great dog has a chance to have a good family life. Be a nice representation of the breed, right? A good breed ambassador is what we call them. So then when people see them out and about, they'll say, wow, that's a pit bull. Yes, that is exactly what a pit bull is. And if you want to see what pets are up for adoption, check out aratalove.org. And you have to go through an application process. And just in case you're wondering, yes, Robin the dog in the story is up for adoption too.